Hi everybody, it's Nicola here. So today I'm actually going to review my February Birchbox content. I normally uh, put these at the end of the new month um, Birchbox, um, but I've decided to do it as a separate video because some of you might not be quite so interested in seeing how I got on. So as well, it gives me more video content ideas. So I have them here in this little basket um, because I'm currently using my box uh, for something else now. So I don't want to take that all apart just to do this video. So um, the first thing I wanted to review was the brush. It was a Spectrum C06 brush. And as you can see, it's very well used. I love this brush. This brush is amazing. It's so soft. At first, I thought it was going to be too big for my eyes. But actually, it's just perfect for the crease. Um, yeah, it makes a lovely, lovely smoky eye. And in fact, I was so impressed by this one that I went ahead and used my Birchbox points that I've been uh, saving up to buy the Spectrum A17 Angled Brow Brush. And this again is another brilliant, brilliant brush. So I was so impressed by the free brush that we got in our, in our birch box that I actually went ahead and I did purchase another brush from Spectrum. And I will probably be purchasing a few more brushes from their collection because these are so soft and so beautiful and isn't this what Birchbox is all about? It's not about just getting freebies. It's about trying new things, thinking yes that works or no that doesn't and then going ahead and um, making a more knowledgeable purchase um, when, you, when you go buy new bits. So because of the free uh, Spectrum brush I went and bought another Spectrum brush. So that was a bonus. To go with the uh, Spectrum brush, we all got this little palette here from Pop. So it's all these little colours here. Now I was thinking that this was going to be a great little palette to travel with and I am going away um, at the end of the month um, for my husband's birthday. Um, but all of these are... Uh, they have a bit of a shine to them so let me see if I can do a swatch so I don't know how much you can see of that but they do have um, quite a bit of sparkle to them um, the middle one I suppose I could get away with the middle one not being quite so sparkly and so shimmery but um, I think in all honesty, in all truth and honesty, I think I'm going to need to take more than just this little palette so I, um, I'll be, uh, I'll probably do a video on what makeup I'm going, I've chosen to, to take away with me on holiday but it is a good little, little palette does this encourage me to go and buy the larger palette that these little three shades come from? Not really. Um, they do go on nicely. Um, formulas quite nice. They are very soft. Um, but in all honesty, I don't think the palette is going to offer me anything more than some of the bits I've already um, got in my stash. And in fact, this shade here... I was looking through um, my eyeshadows uh, just this week and I realised I have two other colours that are almost exactly the same as that dark one so I do have a couple of dupes of this already in, um, in my stash. So the next item I want to talk about is the Kiyom mask. As you can see I have opened it, I have used it, get this, isn't that the scariest thing 
you've ever seen in your life. Oh my god. It smells it smells nice and it was very relaxing and very lovely. Um I actually felt slightly claustrophobic wearing it. Um and the the fragrance from it did kind of trigger my asthma a little bit. Um so yeah the actual wearing of the mask was not it was relaxing because I dimmed the lights I put on a candle um, I played some soft music you know I did the whole relaxing thing um, um, but the I got claustrophobic with it so close to my face the smell um, triggered my asthma a little bit so I had to really concentrate on my breathing um, the aftermath you have to go and the instructions tell you to, to go and uh, wash off the residue from your face with warm water well as soon as I did that my face just went <coughs> and sucked up all the moisture and felt really really dry again um, so that wasn't exactly the greatest but for a, for about the next 24 hours yes my face did feel a little plumper a little softer um it did feel really the skin did feel really really nice but it did only last about 24 hours my skin is 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 thirsty it's um it sucks up any moisture um i have got another mask i have the garnier moisture bomb mask um so i'm gonna see if i can give that a go and see if that is any better than this would i go out and repurchase probably not um as i say I, ha I do have another one another like face mask um so i will try that one and if that one makes me feel claustrophobic as well then i may just stick to the cream masks you know where you cream put the cream on and, and off you go kind of thing okay the next thing i got was this beaver uh, conditioning spray I hate this stuff um, I was like great a conditioning spray <coughs> my hair really needs conditioning um, especially the ends they get really really dry um, this just made I, I tried I put it on when my hair was damp I tried massaging it in for a good couple of minutes this stuff makes my hair feel crunchy it it sits on my hair it does not make my hair feel soft it does not make my hair feel conditioned it just literally sat on my hair it says um contain flyaways and frizz yeah it sure can because it sticks my hair to my head i have um little flyaway bits here i call them my horns they're little bits that just don't tuck in when I have my hair up in a ponytail. They don't tuck in and they just sit up like here like this because generally when I have my hair down I have this little flick thing going on. And um, so they don't sit down um, when I have my hair back. This sticks them down. I mean they don't move. They don't budge. This is like a hairspray for me. This is like stronger than the Batiste XXL hairspray that we got in January's birch box. I hate it. It makes my hair feel horrible. I have to I have to wash it out the very next day because otherwise this will sit in my hair like a film and just make my hair stick to my head. It's horrible. You can't brush it out. You have to wash it out. Oh, it's horrible. I haven't used it all up. There's still quite a bit in here. But I am not using it. I do not like it on my hair. Not very nice. The next item, the final item, is this Wish Shave Cream in uh, Akai Grapefruit. Now I'm going to offer an apology. <laughs> because a lot of people from Birchbox, um, you know, who who have their Birchboxes, they were all saying, this smells delicious. This 
smells disgusting it's horrible it's vile and I got it and I was like oh that smells really really nice I don't know what you're all talking about it smells lovely okay so I got in the shower and I thought hey I'll give that shave cream a try I put a dollop of it on my hand I brought it up to smell and I nearly threw up this smells nice if you put a tiny little bit on your hand and smell it, it smells nice it smells beautiful you put a dollop of it on your hand to use I was shaving my armpit and it smells like baby sick it is horrendous I apologize profusely this does smell like baby sick in the wet and with more than just the tiniest little bit on your hand this makes me wretch it was horrible I was literally holding my breath while shaving my armpits because it was disgusting it was vile and I didn't need again I didn't use it all up I won't be using it again there are much better shaving creams out there shaving gels even the cheap Tesco one you know doesn't smell as bad as this why why does this smell so bad um did my armpits feel any m more moisturized afterwards no they did not and in fact actually i had a little bit of irritation under my arm um after i'd used this so mm, yeah um that's a no-go a definite definite no-go so in total the eyeshadow and the brush were massive hits with me although okay I won't be repurchasing the full size pop um, eyeshadows but the spectrum brush did encourage me to go and buy another brush the Keo mask was a hit um, however I don't think I will be repurchasing it but these two items the shave cream and the hair conditioner are a massive massive no thank you <laughs> so those were my Birchbox reviews for the February content my March Birchbox should be on its way very very soon so look out for that video if you like any of the contents um, that you, if you've got the same contents as me and you like them or did not like them please leave a comment uh, down below let me know what you thought and um, yeah if you want me to continue doing a separate video with my Birchbox reviews or if you would like me to go back to doing them at the end of the new box receiving the new box opening videos like I have been doing them in the past then again let me know in the comments below but until then, I'll speak to you soon. Bye.